Hello, and welcome back to another spooky game. Today is Sunday, and Sunday is still new week, new game. But because it's October, it's going to be a horror game. And today's game is Sinner, Sacrifice for Redemption. This is a Souls-like game. It is a horror hack and slash difficult 3D, which are the tags that are used on the Steam store page. Sinner, Sacrifice for Redemption, is a boss battler action RPG. Face eight abhorrent bosses. The first seven, each based on one of the deadly sins. Before each epic clash, you must sacrifice a stat and level down to enter combat. Each fight will be tougher than the last as you wage war against sin itself. So for a Souls-like game, that seems like an interesting concept of leveling down and sacrificing a stat. So just imagine the difficulty of a hack and slash souls like game. And let's make it more difficult. That's what's happening today. As is, this game has mixed reviews, so it doesn't lean too far towards positive or negative. And it was released back in October 22nd, 2018. The art style looked really nice. It's got a very creepy, gothic-y kind of vibe to it. And I added it to my list of New Week New Game games to play. Of course, this is a game that I most definitely have received in a bundle of some kind. So, without further ado, let's get in the game. Free camera, fix camera. Let's do a free camera. New game. That's supposed to be us. Now, I won't say that I'm the biggest fan of Souls-like games, but I do enjoy Elden Ring and was enjoying Black Myth Wukong. Other than those two Souls-like Souls -like games, I couldn't get past the tutorial on Bloodborne. Or the tutorial on the first Dark Souls game. I know, I did get past the tutorial on the Dark Side game. But, uh... Or Dark Souls, not Dark Side. Dark Soul 1, I got past the tutorial. Dark Souls 3. It did not. So let's see. I don't know if this has got a tutorial for us. It's a heavy and a light attack. Can I use some of these other weapons? That was my heal. I'm sure I just wasted that. It's a block. Sit. Down to change weapons. So I want to do Defeat an enemy. Earned an achievement. Can no longer refund this game. Lock on with R. Defense is left foot. I said it. 
Control direction plus A. Is this where we're supposed to fight a big boss before we can get through? Just like that. Oh, so bright. Alright. Pretty easy tutorial. So what are these waystones? Pretty phase, Tealess. Where is the spark? Wasted, worthless souls. Deeper secrets, darker mysteries. Beyond the reach of man or god. Sacrifice. Performed a sacrifice. Health and stamina. So I'm wondering if it's just straight boss battles, no in between or anything. Just fighting the boss and nobody else. Thais Talus was a healer of great renown. Not content with the mysteries of life, he resolved to conquer death. The search for immortality drove him to madness. He experimented on the dead, on himself, and the living, and found a voice that drove him to darker truths. Something that craved an immortal body and corrupted soul. Desperation spurred him on, and greed sustained him. And death found its champion at last. Oh, look at this guy. What do you do? It's like a toad that sucked up. It's like a slug. A leech. Use the spear. to find the 
Oh, we'll keep challenging. I think I'll stay with the sword and shield. You can only roll my belt like three times. Phallic symbols. This is rough. We were doing pretty good. Now we just uh, lost everything. Do I have to like hit him with a range attack now? Or is he just gonna come down? There he is. What's this do? It's an explosion. Defeated him with fire. Redemption. The redeemed to sin. The avatar of greed has been redeemed and my health has been increased.
so I don't think we get any different weapons or armor or anything like that. Um, it does look like our items do get replenished though, so that's good. So we go to the next one. While he fought for us, lost, now he serves only pride. The dawn weeps for him and light turns away. Lion of Growl, when will the killing end? Proud roads, sacrifice. Attack power decreased. Atonement. once stood as Grower's greatest warrior. Pride grew in his heart. None dared challenge him. Until one day, when a foreign wanderer struck him down, shamed at the hands of a nameless stranger, his legacy crumbled. In exile, he sought power by the darkest paths. Reborn as a butcher of men, his legend grew once again. Only blood and flame could quench his thirst for glory. It's pretty cool looking. Oh, he's got different points of attack that we can go after. charge. Never was able to hit me with that shield charge.
Just glad he's able to hit his own guys. Dodge roads shot. Redeem. With the spear in the back of the leg, got him with a real Achilles tendon move. Wasn't seeing what we got for beating him. Lustful channel, the memory of love stirs in her mind of a kingdom sacrificed and her heart cast away. For he cannot live with soul, nor could her heart live without his, yet lust be still with her chest what grows on the ashes. And see the rest. Sacrifice. Shield will shatter. Defense is broken. We hardly ever use it. The Wanderer's bravery had captured her heart. She sacrificed much to follow him. Yet, their journey demanded everything. Comfort, love, sanity. Soon, nothing remained. But desire and fear. The seeds of lust had taken root, and she had become its avatar. I guess she's running right at me. She has a reach attack, she can dodge.
she's gonna be real difficult. Maybe fire will be better for her. If I can hit her with it. If you're gonna follow me, follow me into flames. attacks three times in a row. Pulling the bow or running towards me. It's gonna be about timing of her. Expecting that. We're stuck. those don't hurt her. Kind of hoping they would.
Uh, I guess those bows stay there. Or those arrows stay there. So that's probably what's hitting me. Achievement for getting this far, huh? Pretty far on that light, though. Anytime it comes to boss battles, it's about like learning their patterns, finding opportunities to not get too greedy with your attacks. That all just come from. There's clearly something I'm missing. It's got to do with your bow and her arrow. I've never seen. She's gonna. Oh, I guess if I press buttons, it makes it go down faster. Try something different. sword you think would have more range than the other sword, but uh, apparently not. Well, the it just comes from.
maybe bigger weapon deals more damage. The only thing is when I swoop with a heavy attack, he just whiffs and hits behind him. Which doesn't make much sense. That should have hit her. Some of those spikes on us too. It's like a double attack. But she hits us with a combo. The other two, it's like we lost once. 42 minutes. I'll keep going. Since most of the other videos are about an hour. If I could end it beating her, that'd be great. I kind of wanted to see what the other ones were about to do.
I'm gonna... I'm gonna do one more. And if she beats me here, then we're just gonna end it. She got me. Just no way to get around it. Damn. He broke out of that frozen shell too. I had her really good there in the beginning, but when she transformed it was just over. Her patterns and everything change. And the length of her attacks a bit longer. But, better retreat. And it doesn't look like we get our things back. All oh, tree of sacrifice. Oh, so you could. If you wanted to go on and fight somebody else. The only thing is, is when you come back, she's just going to be harder to fight. Because you've sacrificed yourself to these other ones. So that was one thing that it mentioned in the description, was as you continue playing, it gets more more difficult, because you sacrifice even more. I don't know if we would be at any better an advantage when we would play her the first time. I mean, this is more of a skill-based game, and clearly I'm just not skilled enough. But hey, what happens? Games that you're going to be good at, games that you're going to be bad at. Uh, will I come back and play this game again? How many achievements are in this game? Because we are getting quite a lot of them. There's 60 in total. We got 11 during that gameplay. Including one rare one. Which is 8.2% of players have the achievement. Um... I don't even see myself coming back to do any type of achievement hunting. The enjoyment that I would get out of this game is very little. I like a game with a good story to it and interesting combat mechanics. With this one, you're stuck on just the two weapons, the broadsword and the sword and shield, and then having the other things like the throwing spear the bomb, and then the, uh, I don't know what you would call it, the enchantment that adds to your weapon to make it stronger, because I don't believe it has fire on it. Um, there's just not a lot of variety in it, and just to have the boss battles get increasingly more difficult as you go along, I think would be less and less enjoyable. The enjoyment that I would get after beating the boss, however, at it being so difficult, could be a thing where it's like, yes, this is great. But here's the thing. There's other games out there besides this one that I can get that enjoyment and have more variety and more fun. This seems like a good demo for a game. This almost seems like a game that's just showing you their bosses, but could be expanded upon in the way of like Elden Ring or Dark Souls is. 
of actually having a level, going through a stage, and then fighting the boss at the end. On top of having things like other equipment, which is something I enjoy from those games, I like having builds to go with. This one doesn't really have any build to it. It's just all about skill with what they have and what they give you. I guess the only other thing that they would be would be the order you choose to fight the bosses in. If there's a particular boss that you really struggle with, maybe that'll be the first one you fight when you come in. If there's a boss that you doesn't any challenge at all to you, maybe that's the boss that you fight at the end. But yeah, other than that, my level of interest in this game is just not there. So, uh, won't be coming back to play it. But that's just my opinion. Of course, all any other people out there who enjoy this game, enjoy a challenge, this would be a game for you. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.